Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. This video is my, I'm pointing down here but you don't see it, but I have all of my candles, all of my empty candles from the last few months here ready to kind of show you and go over with you. So I have a list of kind of the descriptions of what everything is, I'll just jump in. I'm starting with Bath and Body Works, which I don't use a lot of, but I they take a long time to get through sometimes. And I have three. One of these is really old. I can still kind of smell it in here. And I don't think that they make this anymore. It's Summer Boardwalk, I don't know what year it's from. It was 2250, which is less than what they charge now. And the description is caramel glaze, popcorn, warm taffy apples, Salty Sweet Cream, the perfect three-wick candle, buy the ticket and take the ride. And this was nice. I, I burned this in the summer and then a little bit into the fall, which is why it's in this, in this empties. Next is this one, Almond. This is more recent. It was really mild, very creamy. And the description is Sweet Almond Blossom, Vanilla Orchid, and Sandalwood. I don't really smell as much in here. It was, again, very mild. And of the three, this was my favorite. Oh my gosh, this was pistachio ice cream. And I'm going to keep the jar, I like they're selling it now, but with a different, a different jar. And this is described as roasted pistachio, almond extract, and vanilla extract. And the bottom of it, actually, that's what it says on the website. And the bottom of it says roasted pistachio, frozen almond cream, and lush vanilla bean. So those are my three empty Bath & Body Works candles. So the next is DW Home. There was someone who commented, I think, on my last empties about DW, DW Home. I'd never burned candles or had candles from them before. And I have a couple, one at least, that I know that I'm burning now. So the three empties that I have from DW Home are Banana Smoothie. And this is described as freshly cut banana with hints of exotic banana leaves, complemented by a vanilla yogurt and honey drizzle. It's really pretty, really nice banana fragrance. Next is Banana and Palm. And this is described as green banana and sweet plantain swirled with exotic banana blossom balanced by white gardenia and touches of honey nectar. And I like that one too. And the last DW home, this was my favorite, was black rose and oud. Black rose petals with hints of sweet tuberose, jasmine, and black oud. I definitely like this one a lot. I'll probably repurchase that. I may not get the bananas again, the banana ones again, but glad that I tried them and I enjoyed them. Next is a company called Spireside, and I don't know how, I, it might have been Instagram, Instagram targeted advertising, hmm. And I got through three, and I don't know who the artist is on these, but the labels are done looking very kind of tiki. So the first one is Tiki Days. Pineapple lovers everywhere know that when you combine creamy pineapple ice cream with bright pineapple juice, you get a delicious concoction that is at once light, citrusy, and soothing, and the sense of creamy pineapple deliciousness. And I think this is supposed to smell like a like pineapple fluff. And I have a bunch of friends that are really into tiki, and I've been giving these as gifts, and they seem to like them. Next is Tiki Nights. And this is a Polynesian paradise in wax form. Escape to a wild night in Fiji with its sense of ocean water, tropical fruits, including mango, pineapple, and coconut, and bright floral berries. Scents are ocean water, tropical fruit, including mango, pineapple, and coconut, and bright floral berries. And then this one, I actually couldn't find it all. It's called Sun Soaked Shores, and it's not on the website anymore. And it, it was kind of along the same lines, though. Kind of coconutty and pineapple-y and, like, tropical flower kind of thing so but you can't get it anymore and it's not not described on the candle and I can't find it on the website anymore so so that was the third one I'm really going to be jumping around from um very inexpensive to very expensive so forgive me for that so yeah this is this is Sierra Trudon which I love and this is Giza the Giza pyramids have since antiquity fascinated humankind. Today, they are still considered as one of the, quote, seven wonders of the antique world. The candle's distinct candied firewood scent evokes age-old history. The head notes are butch, birch wood um, and glazed chestnut. The heart notes are cashmere wood and moss. And the base notes are cedar wood, musk, and patchouli. And I can still kind of smell this. And I will definitely be keeping this candle to use to store something in. Next is Craft and Foster, Guava and Fig. Rain or shine, this warm and exotic fragrance brings the best of summer indoors with a blend of tropical fruits, cassis, and lime leaves on a base of Mediterranean fig, guava nectar, and Tahitian passion fruit. I really like this. This is very summery, and I will definitely be getting more of these close to summer. 
Next is this. This is one of the more recent ones that I finished. This is Lafco Faux de Bois and Ski House is another name for this one. And the description is kick the snow off your boots and find a spot near the roaring fire. It crackles and splits as it settles down for its long, slow shift, but its smoky remains will continue to comfort long after the final embers have grayed. And the scents are uh, smoky frankincense, blankets, cozy notes of leather, sandalwood, and pine. And this is definitely more autumnal and wintry, and I love this one a lot, actually. This is one of my favorite kind of woody scented candles. Next, this was really nice, and I will keep this jar too. Klaus Porto Red Poppy Favorito. Vibrant notes of red berries centered around the heart of green leaves and red roses blended with pepper and patchouli to create the abstract illusion of the red poppy flower. And this one really, it was complex. It's hard to explain. Um, and I think it's, I think it's a combination of all the traditional kind of berries and roses scents like that combined with the, the green leaves and maybe the pepper and patchouli. It was just a really interesting, interesting fragrance. And I, this is one that I think I probably will buy again. Oh, this is sad. This smells really nice. This is um, an Orbe candle. This is a Cote d'Azur candle and it smells like, there's no description of it, but it smells like all the Orbe hair products and he died recently, which is why I'm sad. So I'll keep this to store something in. All right, and the last two are from Lolia. I love these candles. One is called Tomorrow, number 77. And this is the description, moment by moment, the coming day edges ever forward. The Tomorrow Poetic License Candle embodies the overall spirit of tomorrow, white orchid paired alongside crushed fig, cypress, and walnut, create a wonderfully warm silage that is unique to this candle and unlike anything else that we ever imagined. Indulge yourself in your and your home with this wonderful addition to Lolia's Poetic License Candle Boutiquery. And I like this one a lot, but it's not as good as the last one, which is one of my all-time favorite candles ever. And this is one that I always have backups of and also one that I always have extras to give as gifts. Oh my gosh, this is stacks of pretty paper. It's number 18. I love this so much. And they don't, they make a, they're now making like hand lotions out of their fragrances. They aren't doing this one. It's really annoying. I would like this as a fragrance. I'm coming off of my soapbox there a little bit. So stacks of pretty paper. Top notes are white lily and jasmine. Middle are white tea, geranium, rice flour, and paper pulp which I kind of get a little bit of, and amber and sheer musk are the bottom notes. And the description is pristine sheets rife with possibility, flutter with the breeze, beckoning you closer. Wafting amber and rice flour, wafting amber and rice flour lying in wait for the perfect purpose. Yeah, this is one of my top five favorite candles ever. And I have smelled a lot of candles in my life, so I think I kind of, I have a broad idea of what I like and what I don't like, and I definitely like that one. So, thank you so much for watching. A lot to do in the world, a lot to do on YouTube, and it means a lot that you took some time to spend with me today. Take care, and I will see you again super soon. Bye.